Entomology collections encounter several unique challenges that prevent efficient capture of specimen data. The first difficulty stems from the vast number of specimens. There are millions of specimens housed in museums throughout California, and digitizing each specimen is a monumental task. The second difficulty involves the preparation of small specimens, which often entails pinning the insect with numerous labels on the same pin. The specimens are fragile and must be handled with the utmost care while the labels beneath may have four-point font that is difficult to read without a microscope. Many specimens have highly abbreviated handwritten labels that are difficult to interpret. To help overcome these digitization obstacles, the CalBug project is first photographing specimens with their collection labels. There are several benefits to this approach. We then have an image file of each specimen along with the collection data that we can use to check for transcription errors in the database. The camera also magnifies the labels, which makes interpretation during data entry much easier. Specimen images will also provide material to begin a citizen science project where volunteers enter collection information online. We are partnering with Zooniverse to create an engaging web interface for data entry and public education regarding research in our collections. Insect specimens may be up to 100 years old or more and are extremely fragile. So, you must handle them very carefully. CalBug aims to efficiently capture the information accompanying specimens while maintaining specimen quality so that researchers may use them up to the next 100 years. Handle each specimen from the top of the pin, taking care not to touch any part of the specimen. Always pay special attention and be careful not to hit legs, antenna, or wings as these can easily break and are very fragile. Prior to imaging specimens, you will need the following. Tray or drawer of insects, DinoLite digital microscope camera, computer, sheet of catalog ID numbers for the museum that you are working at, scissors, pair of forceps, and white styrofoam block to place specimens. Startup computer and the image viewing program. Make sure the camera is connected to your computer and that the viewing program is working. Line specimens from left to right on a styrofoam block. Leave several inches of space between each specimen. Each specimen must have the head to the left and abdomen to the right. All labels must be oriented so you can clearly read them in the image. This may require using forceps to space and angle the labels appropriately on the pin. Or, you may need to temporarily remove labels from the pin and lay them in front of the specimen for all to be clearly visible. Please note, if you must remove labels, place them in the original order as they were on the pin. Labels should not be shuffled around or reordered. Be aware that if you knock or drop labels that are removed from the pin, it may be impossible to determine which labels belong to which specimen. So please, be careful. Cut out a catalog ID number for example, EMEC 700,431, and place one beneath each specimen in order from left to right. The DinoLite camera must be placed above the subject specimen and angled to ensure that all labels, including the catalog ID number, and some part of the specimen will be included in the image. If the specimen is small enough, the entire specimen should be captured in the image. Labels may need to be adjusted at this stage. Capture the images with the DinoLite camera in JPEG format. Place specimens carefully back into the tray and drawer that you took them from. Specimens should be oriented so that the heads are all pointing to the top of the drawer and should be placed in rows from left to right.